Hello, Beauty News Valley! Welcome back to another makeup breakup recap. Yep. So, it's been a while. It has been a while. It hasn't been that long, but we've accumulated a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah. we have. <laughs> we were looking through it and we're like, holy fuck. Um, so, if you're not familiar with this concept, mm -hmm. uh, we go through all the products that we've destroyed in the makeup breakup series. Uh, and we kind of give you an update on it. So whether we've been using it, uh, how the video went, yep. what we found out, just sort of like a recap. Yep. Um, yeah, some people Let like these, some people hate these, but do as you it's will. Whatever. Do as you will. I think we need to start with something that's like kind of big and messy and just getting yeah. annoying. Um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. So this... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> beautiful. It nice is... and clean. Yes. Oh, do you know what people raged about? What? The pan, one pan being turned. Oh, yeah. yeah. People's, OC... People's OCD was uh, yeah. triggered. That one. Yeah. Um, so it is a 14 pan silver palette. <laughs> <laughs> By sleek. No, <laughs> kidding. Uh, so this one we decided to make like a Franken eyeshadow. Yeah. So we pressed it all together. We mixed it to see what color it made. And, and we just broke it today. I just broke it as I was... <laughs> with it so. so it made brown shimmery brown. brown yeah it's not don't mix all of your prism shades together because it's not very attractive um but yeah this one didn't get repressed we're not using it the end yeah <laughs> i was i had secret hopes that i'll wear that brown because i love brown eyeshadow. yeah yeah but um, it's not really a. it's pretty boring it is it's bland yeah bland and it sauce. broke so yeah. it's going it's going in the bin. It's going Sorry. in the bin. Okay, so we're going to talk about two spray products because we've been getting on the spray. Mm -hmm. uh, Batiste Dry Shampoo. We just wanted to see if it contained, uh, was it 30 grams of product? And I believe it did. Yeah, it did. Or it was just shy. It was, I think it, it was did. just over. Yeah. I think it was just over 30 grams. That was a messy video. Yeah. It yeah. was like... <laughs> <laughs> we were yeah. dying. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we did inhale... Dry shampoo. Dry shampoo. Um, and look, we we showed what we wanted to know. Like, doesn't contain what it's pro it claims to contain. Um, but actually, like showing the product was a little bit. It didn't go quite as planned. But no, it was difficult. We got there in the end. Yeah, we made snow. We did. And now it's going in the bin. Another Done. one that we made snow oh, with. This, this was, was so fun. fun. Oh my god, and I'm just gonna say, there are so many people who just, like, I think there's a lot of people out there who are just really angry at life. Yes. Because, like, they're like, stop laughing. Why are you laughing? It's not even funny. And I'm like... It is funny. Do you, like, do you laugh at stupid shit with your friends and family? Because if you do, you better shut the fuck up. Or if you don't, <laughs> I feel sorry for yeah, you. Yeah, I feel bad for uh, you, son. So, yeah, we had a lot of fun with this one. So and good. to explain to the people that didn't understand the fun... Uh, if you have a product that violently sprays foam into like a big bowl and yeah. you just keep it going, it's funny. Yeah, <laughs> this is like adult silly string. Yeah, this but is it's so violent. It's just it's, like... <laughs> it is. It is violent, and that's why I say it's like adult silly yeah, string it's because it's kind of scary. Kind of like whoa. It's. Fun. It is literally a foam explosion. It was so fun. If you guys can get your hands on this. You'll have so much fun with your kids, yeah. with yourself. It's great. That stuff is so good. Yeah. And I just kept saying to people, mute it. If you yeah. don't like the laughing, mute it. Mute it. Stop complaining. Fuck. People, whinge, yeah. whinge, I'm whinge, like, whinge. Take a, like, responsibility for your life and yeah. just, if you don't like something, reduce it. You can exactly. do it. Exactly. Someone was complaining the other day about they don't like the music we're playing and I felt like, I didn't reply, but I felt like saying... Mute it. Play your own music. Exactly. And that was on the compilation. There's no talking there. I know. Make I, your own music. I 100% don't care if you don't like the music. It's There's not my problem. <laughs> Royalty-free music is generally pretty shit. And we found some half-decent royalty-free music. So anyway, that was a fun one. Yeah. We enjoyed it. I love that. That was a good That's time. That's a good product. That was a good time. This one is the Stilla Heaven's Hue Highlighter. Yes. In Kitten. A party highlighter. This was requested for so long. It so, was. so, so long. Yeah. We Probably since we started making the series a year ago. Yeah. Uh, so I've got it. This is the repressed one. Uh, this was a funny one because it took us a lot of time to... We tried to melt it. Yeah. It wouldn't melt. Uh, and then we figured out if you just, like, warm it with your hands, it works 
yeah well just and push it back in this you know works normally i yeah. do have this in my collection um i have used it quite a few times i might actually try, try to pan, pan it, it. A subscriber sent us one as well. Yeah. Which uh, showed up around the time of my birthday. So I just claimed it as a birthday present. <laughs> and I actually really like it. It's, it's a nice, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. Yeah, yeah. I, it's a good product. It reminds me a little bit of a more, I would say, silicon y version yeah. of the ColourPop ones. ColourPop ones, yeah. So I not agree. as sort of like matte feeling on the skin. It's more slippery. Yeah. Um, but it sits over foundation quite nicely. And um, yeah, it's a, quite a subtle, glowy highlight. Yeah. That one had a little bit of a deficit, didn't it? I think you did. I think did. it was slightly it under. Did. It was nine point something and it was meant to be ten. I also remember, and to this very day, we've been getting comments. I think I saw one this morning uh, or yesterday. Someone was saying... A lot of people, because there's a little bit of product left in the in pan, the pan. Yep. and a lot of people were saying um, that's probably the deficit in the pan. Unfortunately, it, there wasn't much, and even no. if it was hitting just exactly, I don't, don't think that's good enough. No, I neither do I. Especially for a product that is a wet product, and as it dries, it will lose it its sh- weight. And it shrinks, yeah. It should... I think it should. Con- I think they should always contain a little bit more instead of right on the money. Um, and I don't think that amount that was like stuck in the packaging. I don't think it was. I don't think it, it would make up the deficit. It's, and if yeah. people want to make that excuse and accept that as an excuse, buy it that's anyway. fine. You buy Do it. you? Um, but I yeah, I still think if you're going to say ten grams, um, I yeah, they should have ten or eleven. Yeah. I agree. Oh, my God. Okay, we're going to talk about this, and then it's out of my life forever. This is a Jeffree Star Skin Frost in Deep Freeze. We did a how many brush swatches, you fucking messy cunt of a thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I, I didn't like... Sorry, there we go. I did not like filming this video. I did not like editing this video. I did not like reading comments for this video. I do not like this product. And I don't particularly like this shade of blue anymore. Yeah. When I see a blue like that, it actually... I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. It makes me feel weird. I don't know. So we did do a how many brush swatches and um, it took us three sittings. Yeah. A lot of people ask us, uh, or a few people ask us... uh, like how long does it take to do these sort of videos? And this was the first one that we had to swatch in numerous sittings. So we did it over three different occasions. Yeah. Uh, it meant that we didn't really hurt our arms by swatching it a lot and then wiping it off. So I think we filmed this over about two and a half weeks. Yeah. So just shy of a week gap mm-hmm. um, in between, which was fine. Um, probably all up, it would have taken us, would you say six hours? I would, yeah. Yep. Probably about six hours. Um, and we were very heavy with the swatches. And Absolutely. That, a lot of people were criticizing us for doing that. But there are two reasons why we did that. One, this is a really oily, chunky product. So it was very hard to get a nice smooth amount on the skin that's really subtle. Mm-hmm. If you have something like MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, you know, that would have a nice, it- soft kind of even application. Yeah. And you could do nice... It's like dusting it over. Yeah, really easy. Yeah. This was like smearing butter on your arm. It was disgusting. With a brush. With a brush. It's, it was really hard to do because this was so oily. Yep. So the easiest way for us to actually get through it was... Um, heavy swatches. Heavy swatches. And also, if you left your arm a little bit wet from the makeup wipe yep. and you foiled it on, uh, it meant we went through it a lot quicker. It didn't take us 12 hours. It took us six hours. And the formula was really hard to work with. So... Yep. Um, you know, I'd consider doing another one of these in the de- in the uh, future, very like the distant very distant future, future yeah. um, with something like the Laura Mercier um, ba- matte radiance. Mac- mm, matte radiance, I think yeah. that'd be beautiful to swatch. Yeah, and I think the results would be very different to this. But this was just a problematic product. Yeah, but yeah. it was one that we wanted to do. We've done it. Will we do another Jeffrey Star skin frost in the future? I'm just gonna put it out there. There might be plans to do something with one. What are we doing with one? All right, one we've done recently. Yeah. This is the Maybelline Gigi Hadid Jet Setter Palette. Yep. 
God, it's chunky packaging, isn't it? I just don't. I don't like this packaging. I it's do so like the holographic parts. Yeah, so do I. Like it. It looks like the sides. Yeah, the sides it are cool. looks visually appealing, but the depth of this packaging. You know what I'm makes necessary. it that deep? The fact the... that they put a little mascara sample yeah. in there. Just put that on the side. So we destroyed. All of this palette, but only kept the highlighter yep. that was in it. And uh, we pressed it into an Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade little tub. Works fine. Uh, a few people were like, oh my god, that tub's so small. How do you get any brushes in it? Really easily. <laughs> really easily. Oh my god. Wait, I don't have a mirror, but it... Oh, hang on, I do have a mirror. Thanks, Jeffrey. Look, thanks, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, for the big mirror. Jeffrey to the rescue again. What the oh fuck? Oh my god. Um, but this is, you know, it's a really pretty yeah. highlighter. Like it works. Um, a few people were saying, is the palette worth getting just for the highlighter? No. And the answer is, fuck no. <laughs> but it is a pretty highlighter. No. Don't <laughs> spend that much money on a highlighter from Maybelline. No. Ever. It's just like a peachy pink highlighter yeah. that sort of has a champagne kind of shift to it. Like yeah. it's not... Super typical, but at the same time, it's probably quite dupable. Yes. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. In the bin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Dunk. Let's do another Stila product. Yeah. This is the Magnificent Metal. So we did how many swatches? We did. And um, this was, this didn't take too long to film, no, which was, was nice. Easy. Um, We did discover that when you take the stopper out, there is a lot of product left inside there yeah, so, so that is something to keep in mind definitely worth doing um it's dropping glitter everywhere uh -oh, uh -oh. Uh, i do want to also point out that a few people in the comments were saying that they were really disappointed in these products because um they found that after because when we're getting to the end of it it wasn't layering much glitter yeah so and what i said to them was it might have settled yeah um so maybe like, take the take the stopper out, mix it up, and try it again. And when people actually did that, it worked really well. So right. if you've got this and you've tried it only a few times, and it looks like that not much glitter's coming out, the glitter might have settled down the bottom, and just get like I don't know a skewer or something, yeah, and just mix, mix it, it up, up yeah. and then you should or be fine. store it upside down overnight, yeah, and then before you use it, take the wand and like. Wish it around because yeah. that'll bring everything to the top, and yeah. then you can yeah. Just so take the thing out, put a skewer. Yeah, skewer is the easiest way to do it. it. Yeah, you'll be fine. But um, that was I mean that was fine to film, and yeah. obviously we can't use it because we used it up. Um, but we love these. Yeah, we do. Yeah. And also a lot of comments on that was about uh, how long did you have glitter on your arms and in your carpet? Yeah. Since this is like a liquidy product. Just Once you wiped, wiped it off, off. Yeah. and put the makeup wipe in the bin, yeah, it was that was it. It was, it was done. It was really, really easy to do. Yeah, really, so, it was a pleasant. One. It was a pleasant one. Yeah, I expected it to take a long time. It didn't. No. So, thank you, Steela. Thank you, Steela. <laughs> Controversy. Get oh ready. God. Uh, Moon Moose. Yeah, that was that was one. Yeah. Um, we don't have the palette. We chucked it out. Yeah. Um. So it was quite <laughs> funny. We still get comments on that. We do. Uh, we do. So <laughs> okay. So with that one, we followed the instructions. The instructions were quite vague, so yep. we followed them to the best of our ability. Um, and we did it multiple times because we were like, "This can't be right. Let's try again. Let's play with it. Maybe we're doing it like we tried. Yeah, we, we did. fucking tried. And it is a reflection of if you are trying this for the first time on an eyeshadow palette, this is sort of how you would tackle it. Yeah. And we tried it on like six eyeshadows or something or more. And on the like last ones, besides the way we did it, yeah. Uh, Moon Moose actually commented and said that we got it right. At the end. By the end yeah. of it, we got yeah. it right. So everyone's like, you're doing it wrong. You're just trying to prove a point. If we could find, if we found that this was better than using a, isopropyl, a, a isopropyl alcohol, alcohol, we would buy we would it in buy bulk. It. We can get it in Australia now. Yeah, it's, so it's there's, now on what, uh, Beauty Bay. Beauty Bay, I think it is. Something or, like that. Yeah, maybe a makeup net. No, I don't know. No. There is, there's, there's an site. Australian retailer. Um, We would buy it. Yeah. So we it's, weren't trying to prove a point. It's just that what we saw from it we weren't impressed and yep. looking at the ingredients 
we weren't impressed and uh, we have played with pressing makeup before with oils and it's not a good move so we weren't we didn't have much confidence in it if it worked we would have been super happy yeah uh, people were raging that we you're not supposed to take it out and mix it in a cup I don't think people pay attention to videos before they rage. Yeah. They just like blow <laughs> steam and then they, they don't even focus yeah. on it because we tried it their way and then we tried to do it our way and I still think our way was That was the whole point. We said we're going to try it our way. People don't listen. No, they don't listen. No. Come but the funny thing ears. about it was hilarious. A uh, couple of oh. days or a week after we posted that video – Moon Moose on their YouTube channel recreated it. I didn't even watch it. I couldn't even be fucked watching it. They recreated it like how to really like it was like Moon Moose versus isopropyl alcohol with the Morphe whatever palette we used. Which was the, the 35 exa- F, which yeah. is exactly what we used. So I just found it so funny. But oh. our video got something like ten times the views the, or something. Okay, and I was yeah. like, sucker, sucker, trying to prove us wrong. Fuck you. We were just acting like being Normal consumers, consumers and documenting our process of trying it out and it didn't we didn't love it. No. And I still don't love it. Still don't love but it. But we did have someone send us another one of these yeah. and we're gonna do a how many pumps. Yeah. So it gives you an idea if you have used Moon Moose and you know roughly how many pumps you use for different size pans. Yeah. It's gonna give you an idea of how many uses you can get out of it. So and we might break it down like in cost as well, like Ah. Uh, because... Cost per pump. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. That's something we can do. Yeah. Let's do another controversial one. Let's do our Winky Lux Pill uh, Lipsticks yes. Kit. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> uh, so I picked up the Winky Lux Pill Lipstick Kit uh, that was released for the holidays, 2017. Mm-hmm. And I noticed on the packaging it said 2 grams times 5 for a total of 10 grams. And mm-hmm. I went, <laughs> nope. Uh, so we destroyed one, and it was grossly underweight. Yeah. Yeah. So they did come out to say that it was an uh, error on the packaging. Yeah. And they also offered a lot of refunds to they people, did, which, which was, was quite great. nice. They blamed their graphic designer, which was not very nice. Yep. They said they were disappointed that they didn't receive an email from us uh, before the video went live. And I felt like saying... I'm disappointed that you have never sent us an email. Yeah. So, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> we've, anyway. done, we've done videos on their yeah, we products have. before. Yeah, so. they didn't give a shit. No. Uh, so, what annoys me about that whole scenario was that they did say that they're going to recall all the boxes and they're going to send out new stock with the correct label on them uh, for all their retailers. And they never did that. Uh, they changed the image on their website. So, it said two grams instead of 10 grams but on all their resellers it still had 10 grams in mecca where we where they stock it in australia yeah i look whenever i go to mecca still says 10 grams so they never actually followed through with what they said which was very disappointing no so they paid a lot of lip service to the people watching that video they were very active in the comments which i think was good yeah it's great I would like to see more brands coming and being active in the comments. Yeah. If there's a brand who's like proud. Seven Moon Moose. Well, Jesus. That, they were just, they, they, yeah, they, they had some problems with that. But I would really love to see a brand who like, you know, is proud. Like how many swatches in the tart Shape Tape? That was a good one. Yeah. A lot, by yeah. the way. That's the answer. I would have loved to see Tart just be like, yeah, we're fucking proud of this product. Yeah, and thank you for showing how yeah. far it goes. I do find that most brands that come onto our channel or make a statement about our channel, they're always defensive. People. Always. Always, always defensive. defensive. Never so, proud. Yeah. Never, you know, reaching out. Thank you so much for featuring our product. We love our concealer too. No, yeah. they never, no. never do that. No. They always got their back up. They which, do. The funny thing is, though, with our channel as well, we don't do this to hate on brands. We love makeup. Yeah. And we would love to showcase makeup that, you know, that we enjoy and that, you know, oh, this is five grams over what it claims to be. Fantastic. Like, you know, we're not doing this to hate on makeup. So brands shouldn't see it as we're coming for them. And if they've got any problems with their product, like, here's feedback. Exactly. It's feedback. It is feedback, mm. and yeah, I think um, I think they just get a little bit defensive. 
Yeah. Um, Rainbow highlighters. Yeah, this was a fun one. This was a really fun one. So we've got the Diviner Cosmetics Rainbow Highlighters here. We've got Suspiria, which is the white that had like the different color shifts. Mm -hmm. And then we have Unicorn Sweat, which is the colored one. Yeah. Um, what we learned was never, ever, ever destroy your rainbow highlighters. They'll go ugly. Don't do it. Never, ever. Yeah. Um, enjoy them for what they are. Yeah. And I do understand why some people love them they can be very pretty. they can be extremely pretty uh, i want to also clarify in that video uh we mentioned that rainbow highlighters was started by by um, an indie brand an indie brand and so we decided to feature indie brands yeah we know that divina or divina cosmetics didn't start the Thing. It was um, Bitter Lace Beauty. Yes. Uh, unfortunately for us, well, fortunately for us, we were already placing an order for Diviner anyway. Yes. Uh, they and they were, had these available. And they had these available and they had them in like mini size so we weren't yep. wasting too much product. So we went with them. Their shipping was really reasonable. They've got nice highlighters and eyeshadows. So we were placing an order anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, Bitter Lace Beauty for Australians is really hard to buy because their shipping is like $35 or something. So expensive. US, US dollars. dollars. And so their highlighters are also in the $20 mark. Um, so we couldn't justify no. spending like $100 on two highlighters that will become unusable. So, yep. um, yeah, we had a few comments, only a couple of comments of people saying, ooh, you should have used Bitter Lace Beauty. We would have loved to, but they are too fucking overpriced. Yep. And we also need their to pay shipping, bills. Their so shipping is too expensive. It's, it's shameful. And, yep. look, I'd love to support more brands, but if they make it, like, I have to decide, do I pay my gas bill or do, or do I... I Pay, order their sh from their shipping like yeah. pay their shipping um i'm going to choose a gas bill every yeah, time so exactly. uh we need to be reasonable here but we did feature a bit of lace beauty highlighter we did. and that was because we were like sent one from a lo lovely subscriber who yes. wanted to see us um open this one up and uh, look was so appreciative it was probably cheaper for them to buy it get it shipped to the US and send it to us, <laughs> then it was for us to ship it directly from the website. Yeah. So this was a treasure highlighter. Yes. Um, and at the bottom of the pan, they've got little gems, which are really pretty. So they we repressed it. Um, it still smells like that coconutty scent. Yeah. It's still a pretty highlighter. Yeah. Um, but underneath, there are these little jewels that are stuck to the pan. And it does look really cool as you're sort of getting deeper and deeper into that pan. Mm -hmm. So I can I can definitely see the novelty yeah. behind this product. Um, this one was slightly under. Funny thing though, yeah. I, I, we should have taken a screenshot from the website before. I wish oh. I could, because someone pointed out recently that on their website it now says that it's gonna have a deficit because of the treasure. Oh, really? So, so they saw it. I reckon they saw it and they amended it. That's fair enough. Yeah. No, that's fair enough. So. Like, I I can understand... Look, I can... Un especially in situations where you've got an indie brand, I can understand that sometimes things are overlooked or... Correct. Mistakes are like made. Like they're handmade. Even, exactly. Even with huge brands, mistakes still get made. And I said that with such passion that I spat on myself. <laughs> but Mistakes I, can get made. Yes. <laughs> but... I think it's great that they saw that and Fixed they it. took the feedback. I would have, yeah. I would have loved a little like, "Hey guys, we saw it." Yeah, just, just thanks, saying. thanks for the thing. Appreciate yeah. the commentary. Yeah, I think, I think brands, brands just, they just can't accept us yet. Yeah, maybe one day. Maybe one day. Maybe that's two thousand and eighteen goal. Yeah, brands. accept us. Accept us, bitches. Yeah. Um, there's two things that I quickly want to mention that mm -hmm. we don't have. Hayley has them at home. Yep. Bobbi Brown Cream Highlighter. Yes. Uh, it never set. <laughs> never. It's still smushy and yeah. weird. Um, it is actually... I've got two highlighters, cream highlighters, that I'm trying to pan this year. Mm -hmm. If I can get through them, I want to I wanna do that one as well. I want it to be Good like a luck to you. use it on my body kind of thing. True. Yeah. But, yeah, that's a problem. A few people want us to melt things, and often when you do melt them or warm it up, it really loses um, its... 
Stability. Yes. Yeah. And that was a really good one to destroy. Those yeah. Ribbons. <laughs> it was yeah, so good. That was a great one to really, destroy. It was really, really fun. Uh, yeah. And then also the Huda Beauty uh, Desert Dusk Palette. Yes. So I have that at home. How are you finding it? I love it i love it uh it repressed beautifully mm -hmm. the like the metallic shades and the duochromes and all that they are immaculate it's like nothing ever happened to them the matte is fine as well it never cracked which yeah. was cool very um, good yeah with that one we did find a deficit we did uh, we didn't destroy the whole palette no. so we couldn't claim that it was a deficit over the whole thing um, and but we, averaging and maths yeah. made us go there's a deficit and the funny thing about it was I think it was claiming something like 1.2 grams per shadow or something yeah. whereas the rose gold palette claims 0.95 or yeah. 99 or whatever it was and we did find that it matched with the rose gold uh, weight, weight claims yeah. so we do think that it was um, probably mislabeled yeah um and we were tempted to buy another palette and redo it yeah and we did get a lot of people wanting that but when it what it comes down to is those palettes in australia are 95 dollars and that video wasn't a super successful no video. no so it didn't it wouldn't have paid it doesn't for, warrant it wouldn't have paid for the palette that we destroyed which Haley got yeah. anyway and then it wouldn't have like funded another one yeah and if that video wasn't popular a second one would have been even less popular yeah. so we had to make a financial decision there and yeah. we didn't do it but um i still think that that is underweight yeah in my books it's yeah. underweight i just like playing with this brush i know is that the ella yeah yeah, yeah they're nice brushes aren't they yeah they're nice uh all right another how many swatches yeah this that was, was a recent the, one yeah fenty mademoiselle in yep. clapback mm -hmm. um then we did the GG video and I look like a, oh, yeah, I look like a corpse yeah. and someone in the comments said get some sun and I'm like you're an idiot you're a dickhead <laughs> no, and someone else said it was this film the same day as like Mademoiselle yeah. swatches yeah. yeah it was so someone got it yeah at least. Some, one person one it out. person got it um but this claimed to contain x amount I think it was uh, 1.7 grams and it was just it was 1.6 grams in the usable yeah. part so the part that winds up and then there was um like product product in the base so it was definitely a, it contained what it claimed mm -hmm. um and yeah it was it was a fun one yeah, yeah. That, that was pretty quick as well it was super quick yeah. really quick Sped through it. She was swatching that while I was doing the lip swatch video, yeah. and I was sitting there, and I'm like, "Look at my lipstick!" And you're like, "Ooh!" Oh. Nice. And so she's swatching oh. on one side of the room, and I'm like, lip swatching on the other yeah. side of the room. So yeah. luckily, yeah. we have two cameras. I know. Well, yeah. between us, we've got more than that, but that's not what this video oh, yeah, is about here. Yeah, and you've got two. Yeah, we've got five cameras. Mm -hmm. uh, the Sephora. Um, what were you? Glow finishing pressed powder. Yeah. That was just a fun one to destroy. Yeah. We learned nothing. We learned nothing. <laughs> but it pressed quite well. It did. And yep. I would be happily using this. Hap yeah. It's got right. a slight, like, pinky tinge to it. So brightening. brightening. Good stuff. And it smells like Nana. It does, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> Look, it's a nice, cheap version of uh, the Guerlain one. Because that yeah. also smells like Nana. Smells like Nana. It and does. sort of looks the same. It does, yeah. There yeah. we go. All right. Okay. I'll be wearing that on my under eyes. Yeah. Another how many swatches? No one watched this video. I don't know oh, what you guys are doing. such a shame. I don't know what you're doing with your life. So but there was a glitch with that one. We there had was. An, we had an error with the editing. It was yeah. just a text thing. Um, and uh, normally I'll proof watch stuff, but the one I proof watched, you hadn't turned the text on. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, so I didn't proof watch the last one. And when it went up, we realized there was a a big error and um it was just a typo but we yeah. didn't want to confuse people yeah and so we had to take it down and then re-upload it and i think by doing that it kind of stopped the flow yes um so it was Which a was very a probably our least popular video but we were really keen to do it yeah so it's an hourglass confession ultra slim lipstick whatever it's called yeah um and we want to see how many swatches are in it and they were beautiful swatches oh my god oh my god oh it my was, god yeah it was quite a satisfying it video. was such a good video I 
I loved it. And it encouraged Again, me to buy more. We were like singing Hourglass's praises. Where was Hourglass in the comments? Girls, I'm so glad you love the lipstick. We love them too. Yeah. Let's be proud together. We're proud of these lipsticks. They're fucking amazing. Anyway. People think we hate makeup. Boop, boop. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Next up, we've got the e.l.f. baked highlighters. So yeah. we had one that we destroyed and repressed in here. And then one that was sent to us to be destroyed. And we actually used it as a comparison. Yeah. So I think what we discovered with this, a lot of people were like, you've got to scrape the top off. You've got to scrape the top off. Yeah. We, know. We, we know. know. we know. We know. We um, know. But I think what we learned from this was destroy it and repress it because goddamn. Yeah. See, I've got one on my desk that um, I scraped the top off. And I still am not obsessed not into with it. it. Like, I do think it is... Like, I get why people can like it. It's a really yeah. affordable highlighter. Um, but I just think there are so many better, better products ones. out there. Yeah. Like, the ColourPop highlighters for me, mm -hmm. shit all over it. Absolutely, and a I agree. similar price. So, um, yeah, I noticed in the comments that people are polarized. Yeah. Uh, people love it and, like, praise it. Other people really don't like it. And no matter what they do, they really hated it. And they really loved this tip because a lot of people I know were repressing it and yeah i think people were sharing photos in the group and stuff so that was really cute yeah um, and it does make it a lot nicer it does. and a lot softer it changes um, it completely and I, I think it makes it better yeah it does make it better i also realized that a lot of people don't understand what a baked highlighter is <laughs> so a lot okay. of a lot of people weren't sure what the difference between a baked and a pressed highlight hi, highlighter is um or products in general and it's just a way of setting a product so yeah. um Pressed ones are pressed in a pan mm -hmm. um, and baked ones are baked in an oven and they're generally quite firmer yeah. and they're generally a lot more natural looking than those really pigmented ones. Yeah. Um, some people think that baked ones have to be used wet. No. 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 They're like, you're doing it wrong. You're not using it wet. No. It's Whoever told you you have to use it's it an wet option. is... It's wrong. <laughs> it's wrong. And everyone, and there's a few people that believe all baked highlighters have a seal on the top, but fancy ones take the seal off for you. No! <laughs> no. 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 That's like Santa's little elves, but it's fancy highlighter elves. I'm yeah, and, and, and like elf claim that the reason their baked products have the seal on it is so they don't break in the mail. Wrong! Once again, I think this is just a, a good excuse they're giving to pacify people. Stop making excuses! I know, just... No. Stop! So all of that combined, I'm not a fan of this We don't need to make excuses anymore, guys. Especially not for ELF. Like, no. they're big. They've got, they got their big girl panties on. <laughs> oh! Anyway, moving on to the last thing, which is more of a DIY destroying yes. thing. So we technically destroyed these guys. We did. So we had a lovely subscriber send us some of these from the US. Uh, so these are the EOS crystal lip balms. Yeah. A lot of people hate these. We've never really used them. No. They're fun to destroy. We haven't used them at all. And they're fun to melt. They are fun to melt. And what did we make? <gasps> we made a few things. We did, actually. All right. So we made um, crystal lipsticks to start with. Yeah. So this one actually had crystals in it. Didn't work. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Fallout. Oh, dear. Little fallout. Um, so we found these, like, teeny tiny crystals. Um, and look, it does look really cool. Yeah. At the base there, that looks pretty sick. Rad. Can I do one of these? Ooh. Oh, it's so cool. Ah! <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks really cool. fun with it, though. Not functional. No. But that's fine. It's not the point. It's not the point. The point is having fun. Um, then, what's this one? Oh, <laughs> this is our dude. This is our goggly-eyed dude. Yeah. We love this. So we just put little mini goggly eyes in there. And uh, he's sick. That is, we love it. That is just, that's fantastic. Uh-oh. Uh this is another googly eye one that just came out. See, the problem with it these, is. this balm is it's so slippery that yep. things just slip out. It, yes, it does. Um, so, so we tried to make holographic makeup, and that was a holographic lipstick balm that we made. Eyes. We also made a lip gloss, and we tried some eyeshadow slash highlighter things. Yeah. Um, not super functional, but looks cool uh and this one was our flower lip balm now this yeah. worked it worked it did work it worked but i looked at our video of our other flower balm mm -hmm. and there's a huge like it goes huge the stick is really stem. long yeah so 
Finding the flower with the stem long enough to sit in the base and was, prop was the flower really up, that was really hard. But, um, and also just the fact that this particular balm doesn't hold in yeah. the lipstick tube is problematic. So it was fun. I understand why they ended up in the EOS balms. These guys were cute. They were really fun. And I look forward to making more lipsticks in the future. Yeah, it's true. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us for our Makeup Breakup Recap number four. My what? God. My God. So we do this quarterly. I'm we do. Excited. We do. That's that's the way things are now. Yeah. Quarterly. Uh, if you do have any suggestions of what you want to see coming up on the Makeup Breakup, we're always open to suggestions. Yeah. Um, There's a comment section just for you. We do read them. Mm-hmm. We do. We don't always we don't always take the suggestions straight away. No. And the reasoning for that is whenever we put up a video like how many swatches in a concealer, we always get do this concealer, that concealer, blah blah. We can't put up four in a row of no. the same thing. So Unless we... we're doing concealer week. And there's yeah. no plans for that just yet. No. Maybe in the future. Yeah. So we do tend to We try and break pace it up. It. Yeah. Yeah. Get but you. we do always read the comments and we do take on board the suggestions and sometimes we see great suggestions mm -hmm. and we're like, do it now. Yeah. Do it right now. Yeah, that's true. Um, so definitely leave them if you have any and um, we'll see you in the next one. We will. See Bye. You.